I'm Anna Viriel with the Dr. Ways In, and we're here with Walgreens, and we have Tasha, the Vice President of Pharmacy Quality Compliance and Patient Safety. Thanks for having us. Oh, thanks for uh, inviting me, Anna. It's nice to be here. Well, I know you're busy, so we feel honored to be able to speak to you. Um, and what we're going to talk about today is your recent press release on immunizations. Okay. So if you could let us know just from a kind of a high level, let our followers, our readers, kind of the audience, just high level what you have going on. Sounds like you're back up and running and offering immunizations now. Sure, yeah, I'm happy to. Um, we <clears throat> partner very closely with the CDC uh, for immunizations and we followed the CDC guidelines. So when um, CDC put forth a recommendation that um, they were recommending to postpone all non-essential vaccines, uh, Walgreens followed suit with that. And, and um, when uh, they came forward with the uh, recommendation that it was okay to start doing vaccinations again for um, you know, non-essential, like recommending, hey, are you up to date on your whooping cough or your meningitis, that kind of stuff. Um, we wanted to, you know, get back in and let folks know that we're, we're there for them, as we always have been, but, um, you know, feel comfortable coming in. And so we have done a lot of things um, from a patient safety perspective and an employee uh, perspective as well cleaning, uh, the plexiglass shields in the stores and the, and the social distancing stickers on the floor and all that. But additionally, all of our pharmacy staff wear uh, medical masks. Um, we uh, follow the protocols that are required around proper hand washing and gloves and all of that with a, with a vaccine. But um, as an added measure, we're ordering in the uh, face shields, the um, the, for eye covering for our pharmacists to wear, and we're requiring a patient to wear a mask as well. So if they don't have a face covering already when they come in, uh, we will provide a mask for the patient before we give an immunization. Okay, great. So you're really amping up your patient safety. Yeah. And so will, will that mask be free of charge for the patient if they come in and need one? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, we, we at the Dr. Ways Inn love the face shields. I actually had to travel and wore one on the plane. Um, so we, we really like the science behind those keeping people protected. So that's a really nice added measure for your employees. Yeah, I, we think so too. And we, you know, I think, you know, it gives the eye, uh, the eye protection that needed in addition to the mask. I think it really um, uh, protects both the patient and the pharmacist administering the vaccine. So now at Wal I can walk into a Walgreens, feel like you've amped up your patient safety, so I feel comfortable with that. Can you talk to me a little bit about the immunizations that you offer as a whole? Um, is there anything that you want our audience to know? You can kind of get anything you need at Walgreens, can't you? From an yeah, absolutely. Um, there are state and age restrictions that apply in certain locations. So always call um, ahead if, you're, if you have a question to your local pharmacy. Uh, additionally, you can check our website. Um, there, we do have a link on immunizations on our website that gives um, a lot of information uh, that um, patients can go on and, and check out. Um, but yeah, I mean, of course, shingles is a, is a big one now, um, and anybody over the age of 50 can get a shingles vaccine. Um, and, and uh, you know, of course, always recommend that because shingles is a preventable illness that uh, is, is very uncomfortable. If, if you ever get it, it's terrible. So uh, anything that you can do to help prevent it is always a good one. Um, but whooping cough, meningitis, um, HPV, uh, as well as uh, hepatitis A, hepatitis B vaccines. And then of course, you know, we've got flu around the corner. So the flu vaccine will probably be arriving sometime in, eight, in August, um, uh, normal timelines. And, uh, and then of course, pneumonia. Um, you know, flu and pneumonia, I think is gonna be one of the big ones to um, be prepared for because I do see um, uh, everything kind of converging at the same time. Uh, with maybe an uptick in COVID cases and then flu and pneumonia season uh, being right happening at the same time. And so to be able to prevent uh, any type of um, uh, 
uh, a vaccine preventable illness, uh, I am all for and I highly recommend uh, getting in and getting those vaccines ahead of time. And are you at Walgreens, are you preparing for an uptick in folks coming to get their flu vaccination? Have you planned for extra people given all the kind of scare that's COVID caused? Yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty exciting uh, flu season for uh, for our stores and, and for the industry in general. Um, I think that um, probably folks are a lot more aware um, and uh, paying attention to the news more so than maybe ever before just because of all the things that's happening with COVID. So we are um, partnering with our vaccine manufacturers and making sure that um, you know we're going to be you know be able to be in stock at this time. Uh, none of our vaccine partners are anticipating any delays or shortages of the vaccine. So um, yeah, we're ready. Um, just uh, come in with uh, you know loose fitting clothing, your insurance card, and, and we are ready to take care of you. And we're also you know recommending. Sign up um, uh, for our, our appointments. Uh, we have an appointment scheduler that you can sign up ahead of time, um, maybe get some paperwork done before you come into the pharmacy to limit the amount of time that you're in the store. That would be really helpful for if you, you do fear that there might be a, short of a shortage of flu vaccination, just in case, to sign up and get an appointment so you can be notified of if you need to reschedule or make sure that you have kind of earmarked one for yourself. Yeah, absolutely. But right now, we're not expecting a shortage, so we're we're uh, we're we're ready for uh, for all the patients that want to come in and get a vaccine. And you know, honestly, I think that um, pharmacy has been a uh, when H one N one vaccine ha or when all that happened with the H one N one flu, um, pharmacy really stepped up. And we were able to help all those patients get the get the vaccine that was needed um, in the healthcare industry, just to not put all that burden on the doctors' offices. So um, I think you know uh, this coming up flu season is uh, very very important because you want to keep all the burden off the healthcare system today by preventing any type of um, illness that you can get. Um, if you prevent it with a vaccine. So for example, your flu and pneumonia, get it now, get it ready, um, and you know, keep yourself healthy so that you're not taxing the, the health system when um, those patients that have COVID may need to be helped. And that's a great way to think about it, going into a Walgreens instead of needing to go to your medical provider getting your vaccinations at a Walgreens. Um, I, I agree. I mean, you know, because you can come in anytime, you know, nights, weekends, holidays, um, you know, when our pharmacists are there, uh, we can give a vaccine and um, you don't have to be uh, confined into the nine to five office hours that your doctor's office might require. And so it sounds like you have a really big job. Tell us how many Walgreens there are um, and then I'm assuming most of them do vaccinations. Yeah, um, we have uh, any, any of our Walgreens uh, that have a pharmacy uh, do vaccines. And um, we have more than 9,200 stores um, and we have them in 49 states. Uh, we, have, we have one state that has a store, but it doesn't have a pharmacy. And what um, so that? Uh, what's that? What state is that? Uh, it is uh, uh, North Dakota. North Dakota. And so uh, anyway, uh, you can go to any, any of our stores and uh, get, get a vaccine. Um, and anytime the pharmacy is open, we're able to give a vaccine. Okay, awesome. And so you've, you've made sure that all 9,200 stores ensure patient safety um, and that they're up to date with their vaccination list, which leads me in to my next question. Um, how do you track, you said you work really closely with the CDC your team must work with the FDA and CDC to make sure that the list of vaccinations people need and are recommended to get are always up to date. Can you just tell me how big of a job sure. it is? Sure, yeah, it, it's, it's actually, um, there, there's, there's quite a big process. So yes, um, it, with the, we work uh, closely with the CDC. There's also uh, a group called ACIP, 
that um, they are the ones between the ACIP and the boards of pharmacy and the FDA all working together to ensure that the vaccine is, is ready to be administered. So the FDA will, will release the vaccine. The ACIP is the governing body that um, will uh, give guidance on when the vaccine should be administered, uh, age ranges, um, if it's a series vaccine, um, you know, the, the time period between the two vaccines, uh, et cetera. And, um, and when that is released, that is when Walgreens um, will allow the vaccine to be administered in their stores. And then of course, you've got the supply chain working with the manufacturers to get the vaccine to the locations. So it's actually pretty complicated, yet it is a well-oiled machine now. You know, we were one of the very first uh, retailers that um, began administering vaccines in all of our stores. And so, you know, since the mid 2000s, we've administered more than 60 million vaccines in our stores. And, you know, we've partnered with the UN with our Get a Shot, Give a Shot program, and we've given more than 50 million vaccines to children um, in other countries. So, um, you know, we're, we're there for our patients to help them through this process. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Um, we'll end the interview with more, some, some fun things. Um, okay. We definitely learned some fun things, though I had no idea that you gave 50 million vaccines to children around the, the world. Um, so that's awesome. And one of the things that I'm going to start asking everybody now is what's the most, so you can answer either, what's the most exciting thing going on at Walgreens or what's the one thing that most people don't know about Walgreens? Um, I think one of the most exciting things that's happening right now is we are at the forefront to help get our our nation healthy again um, during this COVID pandemic. And um, how we're doing that is we are um, putting COVID testing sites um, in, in every state. So by the end of the month, um, we should have COVID testing sites in, in 49 states. Right now, I think we're at 27 today, or maybe it's 29. Um, but by the, you know, by the end of the month, we'll have a COVID testing site in every state. We are focusing on underserved communities. We want um, patients to be able to get back to work as soon as they're able. And uh, you know, I think pharmacy, this is a really exciting time for pharmacy because um, we're right there at the forefront of helping patients um, with their healthcare needs. All of our pharmacists and pharmacy staff were there on the front lines from day one and very easily accessible to our patients. And, um, you know, it's going to take the entire industry in order to heal our company or our country. But I think that um, the pharmacies are on the forefront of that because, you know, we're, we're right there on every corner. Yeah, and I've been impressed. So we interviewed Walgreens, um, your innovation team. And from that, you know, we, list, we talked about the Find Care app, but we also talked about the front end products that were being served through the drive through. And so you're right, right, the pharmacy staff have been really the ones that are sort of on the front line the whole time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Um, is there anything else that you want our audience to know? Um, or it sounds like you did cover a lot about immunization. Um, I would say, uh, up, you know, go onto our website, lots of good information about there. There's test, there's information about the COVID testing today on our website. Um, watch for the signs. Um, as soon as vaccine is available, um, the signs will be up in our stores and on our website that flu vaccine's ready, come in and, and get your flu vaccine. I would say get in early, um, you know, keep yourself and your loved ones healthy. And, um, you know, we're, we're there for you and we're, we're happy and proud to be right at the forefront to uh, help us uh, get uh, our nation through this crisis that we're in. Well, thank you for um, being such a, an amazing, accomplished member of the Walgreens team. You've been there forever, right? So um, I have been. it's really nice to be able to talk to somebody who's probably been through a lot of different 
uh, transitions within Walgreens, but kind of also leading them. So um, it's Thanks a very pleasure to speak to you. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for joining us and check out our other interview with Walgreens after this one.